that Mother Earth matters to you. Mother Earth. Yes. It's not just Earth Day. You know, while I'm waiting to start officially start, I'll tell you a little story. When I was living in New York, back in, I think it was like 2008. Wow. 2008. I was at the Open Center in New York City celebrating Mother Earth Day. And I met an amazing Lakota man, Tiakas and Ghost Horse. Yes, and he was there. We're sitting at the back of the room. We had a little conversation going on. And he was getting a little annoyed because the mother part of Earth Day wasn't being included in the ceremony that we were at. People kept forgetting to say mother. They were saying Earth Day, Earth Day. And so I asked him, like, well, what's the difference? Why does this matter? <laughs> and he looked at me and he said, you know, it is our mother. It's a breathing, living entity of energy and it's our mother and we come from her and we go back to her and he said as a matter of fact I was just at the UN he was at the UN really making this an international mother earth day and so every year I think of that story yes earth is living and vibrant we come from mother earth and we go back to her we can sit on her and we can walk on her and we can love on her and she can do the same back for us. We're a little intense right now, right? How many people have been feeling that too? How many people have been feeling the intensity of April? That's the theme I have. So times like this when we can take the time to get outside, to slow down, to feel the earth underneath us, that's going to help us to really reground our energy. We need it right now. We need to slow down. I know the world is really, really fast. It's going along. I mean, who would have thought 10 years ago I could sit up here in the middle of this property and tune in to the marches in Birmingham for the Science Day, right? Or even the ones in New York. Who knew we would be able to do all of that all at once? All the more reason to find moments like this where we can sit down and we can feel Mother Earth and align with our energies. Right now, it is very intense, and these retrogrades, I know my clients are telling me, and they're working with me, and I'm helping them to really realign that energy and pull back up and pull back out of that downward spiral that many of us are feeling right now in all of this retrograde. We still have about two more weeks of going through this energy. So the thing is right now, actually on Wednesday, we went through a little conjunction with the sun, which is going to start us to go back into the way we want. Still some confusion. Still some of that spiral, still some of that push and pull, but we can begin to work with our energy. So as we begin to come out of that in like another two weeks, as we move into May, we're going to be able to really propel forward and really feel a difference. But it is a choice. All right. If you don't, if you don't become aware and you don't use your energy and you don't work to raise that vibration, you could still be caught in that backward motion. You could still be feeling all that shifting going backwards. And what we want to do is turn it around to slow down for a moment, to feel the earth under your feet. Thank goodness she's still there, right? Each and every day when we wake up. So just take that moment. Got the sage going. And just a little tradition I've learned that I've been taught. I have some tobacco in here. And I bring the tobacco up. Native American tradition for the medicine wheel. Giving her gratitude from my heart, I hold the space for all of us. I hold the space for humanity right now, for our elders, for my peers, for my children, for all of our children, for the generations yet to come. That we find the ability to tune into Mother Earth, to honor her, to love her, to feed her, to respect her, to open up to that vibration that we all share. So we call in directions. Here we are in the energy of spring on this beautiful day. Spring we start into the east where new days come, where the sun always rises. We honor the east, the south, the west, and the north. Above us, below us, right into the very center of our hearts, asking for anything less than light to be gone as we open up and celebrate Mother Earth today, as we align our energies with her, all for the highest good, I hope. So I wanna show you the medicine wheel, rock by rock, 
rock by rock. This started as an idea. It started, I'll be really honest, it started when I was very frustrated and not sure where my life was going and if I could continue on, rock by rock. Pick up rocks, one at a time. And I started laying them in the formation of the directions. Each rock, they're beautiful. Each rock has a spirit, just like we do. Different maybe, you may think. But they hold and contain knowledge of the earth. So as I set them up, helping me to focus, helping me to realign and reattune my energy, I created this beautiful vortex of energy out here. Some of them are beautiful. This one is very shiny and sparkly. It's a little selenite in it right from here. Some I found little quartzes and crystals. But let's just turn this around. So I'm going to be doing a summer solstice up here. So maybe you're interested. If you're interested in knowing more, put it in there. Give me some notes. Give me a comment. Ma uh, medicine wheel. Summer solstice medicine wheel. So you see right there is the beginning. That's the spring. That's the door into the medicine wheel. And you see the rocks. Let me tell you how much course correction. This is where I learned this term, course correction. So we come in. We walk around. The markers are for sitting in the spring. You see the ground, the coverings. We've had some classes up here. And we have this direction, this marking. And then there's the south that comes in, all leading to the center, the west, all around to the north. But the center here, right here, yes, that's where we say our prayers. That's where we honor spirit. Beautiful energy vortex right there. We come here, we sit, we feel the vibration. Lots of beautiful rocks here. I have some of the Herkimers I brought from New York. I have some of the quartzes from Canada. I have a double a twin flame right in the center quartz, Arkansas, rose quartz, all around. And people bring rocks and they add to it. And they leave a bit of their energy here so that when they go home, they can reconnect. Let's see if I can reconnect this. Yeah. So if this is something that you're interested in knowing more about, leave me a comment below. Whoops. Leave me a comment. Medicine wheel. Summertime. Summer solstice. Yes, it'll be here before we know it, right? It really will be. So I wanted to touch on a little bit more about attuning energy and why we sit in the medicine wheel and how those are connected. You know, do we go through this month? We've had a hard time. The energy's been pulling us back. We want to go forward. We've had a little push and pull. Have you had that? Have you felt that? Comment below if you have. And so when we sit in the medicine wheel, we can pull up the energy from the earth. Imagine where you are right now, just breathing the energy of the earth. Use that imagination. Up through the first chakra, up through the body. Bring in that vibration all the way to the heavens and then exhale send it back down this helps us align with that vibration of mother earth all that other stuff can be let go of right now just be right here in your own energy very important if we stay stuck if we stay in all of that mess we can just keep going down and down and down and down it's very easy to do so as we move through this point right now, we're coming into that new moon on Tuesday. As we move through that, it's really important to take that responsibility and to honor yourself and honor where you are and feel that vibration. And we ask ourselves questions. What isn't serving? What is this downward spiral all about for me? Where can I lift up my energy? Where can I reattune? That's what we want to do. We want to attune the vibration. We know we can no longer stay still. We know we can no longer be without our voices. We have to stand up in a peaceful way, in a loving way, in a very empowering way. And that is what I'm offering as we go to do these attunements. As we go to really let go of what isn't serving us anymore. We ask that and we offer forgiveness. Thank you for showing up. Yes, forgive it. Love yourself even greater. Love yourself from those fears. Love yourself from those failures. Love yourself and pick yourself up again. You know how many times I've had to pick myself up again? 
I have no back door. I keep doing this. And I hold the space for you to do it too. I hold the space for you to raise your vibration. Last week on my radio show, we're talking to Doctors Mary and Ron Holmick, and they were talking about the yuga. We're in a yuga. Yuga is a raising consciousness. So where do you want to be in that raising consciousness for your own self? Do you want to stay in the lower vibration, fear, shame, anxiety, stress, or do you want to rise above it a little bit and find that peace and that joy and that love and that understanding for yourself? It's a choice. It's really a choice. It really is. Yes, it was a great episode. Spiritual psychology. We have this inside of us. It's not woo-woo. Some people call it woo-woo. I don't. I call it spirituality. Spiritual psychology, they've coined the term. We have that. It's our health and our wellness. So I, I'm actually going to be offering spirit, um, spring attunements. And if you want to find out more, if you want to come in and have me help you to realign, let me know. Leave me a message. Hashtag attune. Yes, I'm offering that. Come in. We'll set some intentions. We'll help pull your energy up and realign it so you can move forward, especially as we come out of the retrograde. I think it's like Mercury retrograde anyway. I think it's like May 4th. We've come out of Venus, so maybe your relationships, you're feeling it. We'll come out of Mercury. We still have a little bit with Pluto and Saturn, but at least we've got those coming out. Mercury, you always seem to feel the most because it moves so fast. So let me know. Yes, give me a comment below. Even if you're watching this not live, comment below a tune if you want to know more information. Yeah. So just taking a moment and thinking about what are the intentions for your own self right now? Where can you attune to that vibration for you? So I've picked some cards. I've picked some cards to help us with some of those questions. Sometimes we don't know what to ask, right? We don't know what to see. We don't have the, the understanding of what to even ask for. So the cards can help us. Yes, I've been working with a lot of different cards. I will be offering, I'll tell you, I'm waiting for the, the retrograde to be over to announce and launch the program. But I'm doing a summer school. Yep, summer school with the oracles. Very excited about it. We'll talk first to how to tap into the energy, how to be in alignment with yourself. We'll open up the energy channels. And then we'll talk about a, little, a lot of different cards, how to read them, how to use them to tap into your own wisdom. That'll be coming up this summer. I'll be talking about that once the retrograde's over. But I did choose some today. I've been going to be reviewing a lot of the cards from Native Spirit cards. Beautiful cards. I'm going to go over a little reading for everybody. Native Spirit. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Send the breath all the way down deep into Mother Earth. Feel it going into the crystalline structure. And as you inhale... Bring that breath from Mother Earth back up through the legs, through the first chakra. Feel her in your chakras, opening through the body all the way up. Feel that alignment for you. So the energy of the cards today. First card was so perfect, wounded heal healer. So how many of us have those wounds, right? How many of us have those wounds and think there's something to hide? Some of the greatest healers and shamans in the world right now have had their own wounds and have learned from them. And that has gone on to help them help others. Yes, we don't have to be victim to our wounds. We can be vulnerable. And that is right now exactly what is going on. And I know many people are feeling a little bit lost by this card. Feeling down, feeling their energy's not right, feeling something's wrong, something's not connecting. But this is the gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for showing up, this wounded part of who I am. How can I fix it? We honor it, we love it, we forgive it, we let it go, and that's our lessons, and that is very powerful. It's kind of like going to a um, child psychologist that doesn't have children, right? How do they know? So as a healer, we're all healers, right? But as a healer doing this work, how do you know how other people feel if you don't go through your own circumstances or you don't even face them or talk about them? And that's exactly what this card is all about right now. So when this card comes up, Mother Earth, Spirit, Universe, God, however you want to look at it, wants you to remember, use these gifts. Don't let them drag you down further. Use these gifts and bring them forward. This is karmic when we see this card. This is how we learn. This is how we evolve. So this is where we are right now. Don't let them drag you down. Let them empower you. Yes. 
The second card that I have is for an action that we can take so that we can be in more of alignment. The spirit of water. I love this too. Water is consciousness, right? Water is that element of consciousness, that element of intuition. Trust your intuition. Trust it. Don't doubt it. So easy to doubt it. So easy to get caught in all the chatter. We doubt it. Trust those thoughts that come in. Trust the way you process energy. Trust the signs that you're seeing. Yes, I had someone text me yesterday. I was so happy to get the text. She saw the signs and made a decision, and she was so happy with what she decided. That's what we want. So trust your intuition right now. I know it's hard because there's so much crisis going on in the world and so many things going on. That's why we get quiet. That's what we want to do. Trust your intuition. And the third card, this is what we can all look forward to doing as we move through and honor these energies, is the white buffalo energy. And that's that there is hope and there is shift and things are going to change and things are going to move and we have to remember to trust and believe. Yes. Yes, that's exactly. The white buffalo woman, we know that story. She came in and gave the Lakota people the pipe and said that there will be a legacy that comes back around, a prophecy, and there will be white buffalo seen. And this is our prophecy that we will rise again and that earth will survive and we will go on. That is what it was reminding us of. It is still out there. I know many of us, I know in the circumstances of life right now, we think, what happened? What happened to this country we live in? Hope, faith, do your work realign it's coming don't give up don't give up so many times we get to that edge and we want to give up don't give up keep going keep being in forward with this energy so just have these cards around look and see where they can apply to you what part is wounded what part is vulnerable with you that you can bring forward how can you trust your intuition even more faith the prophecies are coming we will all move through this. You will move through this on your path. Be honest with yourself. Come into that part of you that can sit with Mother Earth right here. And attune your energies to your spirit. So that you can move forward and you can do the work that you've come in to do. Not be distracted. Not get caught in that downward spiral, but attune to who you truly are right now. This beautiful Earth Day, Mother Earth Day, Mother Earth Day. Open up your heart. Open up your spirit. So yes, please share this if you know somebody that could use a few minutes of quiet. Share this with somebody that might need some attunement to their energy. I can always follow up. If you're not in my group in the Empowered Spirit Circle, come join us. We have lots of fun things going on. You'll hear about the programs coming up first with some special bonuses. Excited for summer school. You hear about it right after the retrograde is over, working on it. And then the summer solstice. We're going to be out here at the Medicine Wheel. I've got some shaman and some other healers coming in, and we're going to do some fun ceremonies. So if you're interested, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Be responsible to Mother Earth today. Be responsible to yourself. Hug a tree. Pick a flower. Don't pick too many. Smell the flower. But sit with yourself and sit with the spirit of who you truly are. This is how we'll rise above. This is how we'll shift and make a difference. And this is how you can move forward on your path right now. Despite everything else going on in the world, despite all the chaos and the crisis that's out there, but don't let yourself get caught up in it. And that key, that secret, is to attune your vibration, sit still, open your heart. Hear that? Do you agree? So take a nice deep inhale. Feel that connection. Attune your vibration. All for the highest good. 
right now. The sun is back out. I feel the wind. I hear the water. I'm with Mother Earth, the elements of all life. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to share this. Leave me some comments. If you have any questions about a tuning or medicine wheel, leave those below. I'd love to talk about it. Join me on my Empowered Spirit Show on Monday. I'm going to be talking with Patricia from the Akashic Record Institute. Yes, talking about the ability to tap into the records of our soul. Thank you, guys. Thank you for spending time with me right here in the medicine wheel on this beautiful day, this Mother Earth Day, honoring that vibration of unconditional love from our mother. Hope you have a great day. Get outside to your spirit. Namaste.